Okay, so people, we're checking out something else, and um, already I'm seeing that the readme file was put together as a QC file. Yeah, needless to say, it's not exactly the clearest thing in the world. It's like open source files at the same time that you're reading the documentation. Not the most user-friendly thing in the world, but then again, I'm not exactly the most user-friendly of people. Anyway, let's see here. We got actually two files. He doesn't actually give a normal documentation, so I'm totally winging it here. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. This is globe.qc or id globe. Um, and essentially it adds a light globe that shines ahead of you like a flashlight. Watch your aim. It'll anger any creature it's pointed at. Since it's not intended to be a, f a true flashlight, there is a source light near the player. If you want the player to also be lit, um, such as like a nice target for multiplayer games, just uncomment the two lines that reference self effects. Um, it just basically makes the globe's user cast light. So needless to say, nothing really fancy or whatnot. Um, you basically just use Impulse 13 apparently, and you basically are going to light up Kind of like a flashlight, but not really a flashlight. Um, yeah, it's not a true flashlight, just kind of like another flashlight mod. I think we've seen kind of some of these before. But yeah, um, this is ID Globe specifically, which was actually made a few days later past the original Globe. Um, this basically adds an ID Globe, which works like an I IFF. When aimed at another entity, it prints friend or foe, their net name, and their current weapons. Okay, I see. So it basically identifies things. Um, if you keep it aimed at them, it'll update every three game seconds. It'll identify monsters as well, though it's a wee bit of a hack. Um, so yeah, basically because Quixie uses ugly monster class names and various things, and it also doesn't register their weapons properly. So if you want to make your own creatures, please set the class names to something cool. So we also left in the line so I'll make the ID globe work like a light. Um, if you want to use it as such. And yeah, essentially this is basically um, a globe with additional features. So it works like a light but also can identify things. So let's see here. Oh look, I'm still on the previous map I was looking at. So this is Impulse 15 and Impulse 13 for the two features. So bind G to Impulse 13. And then we'll say bind H to Impulse 15. Why there's no Impulse 14? I'm not really sure. Um, but yeah, now if we do G and I press Impulse 13 a bunch, it will do nothing. Meanwhile, if I do impulse, yeah, like it's showing the dot, but yeah, there's also like a sound or something like that that I'm not having here. Um, but yeah, if you press impulse this, it turns on, you know, impulse 15, but impulse 13 ain't working for some reason. So yeah, it basically tells that the, the zombies, these throwing chunks. It's constantly updating that. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. You look at Ogre, Chainsaw Grenades, Fiend has Claw Horn. You see it identifies. So basically you just run around and say, what exactly is this thing trying to murder me with? Very immersive, huh? Scrag has a particle beam. A particle beam? My god, there's a particle beam. Shambler's Claws of Lightning Bolt. Yeah, Particle Beam. That, that's a very weird name for a Scrag thing. But yeah, as you see, it basically goes around and tells you what every enemy has. Um, and yeah, it basically just works for everybody, hopefully. We'll see if it works for non-shareware monsters. I'm curious about that, actually. Um, e 4 m 3 is probably not the best map for it. Let's see here. I'm trying to think, like, uh, E4M6 is probably the best one for getting to, like, spawns. Impulse 15, but there's no Impulse 13 thing, by the way. So, yeah. Excuse me, I'm trying to see some spawns. Quick, 
Under the water. It's a fish. He has no attacks. Spuns have a corrosive touch. Meanwhile, fish have nothing. Fish literally have nothing, everybody. That, that That's the list of the day. Somewhere along the line, fish gain nothing. It says winter spawns have corrosive touch. Oh look, boys don't have anything either. It just says monster shell wrap. Yeah, you can tell it wasn't really made for um, non-shareware. Though oddly enough, the spawns have something. Even if it's the weirdest thing ever. I have no idea what corrosive touch is. But yeah, that, that that's a thing. I have no idea what on earth they're trying to refer to there. They're like trying to say it's like acidic, but I don't know how that has anything to do with the swan. And like I said, then we have this weird error um, whereby it's looking for switch 2-1. I don't know if that's a custom sound that exists somewhere. I don't know um, why it's not included with the file. But yeah, even more annoyances. It's a grunt with a shotgun. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Nothing too fancy there. Forcer with a laser rifle. Easy enough. Forcers have laser rifles. What do you have? Where's Lassie? Where's a dog when you need one? I'm not having too much luck finding dogs. Where God's name is a stupid dog when you need one? Fine, I'll go to E1M1 because I know where the dogs are. And it's quick enough to get there. Excuse me! Hey! You, you killed my dog! Right, 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 truth claw. Okay. That, that's all I was curious about. I was just curious when God's name it would say to um, that. And that pretty much summed up everything. My, yeah. This ain't exactly something that's really exciting. Um, yeah, so you also... You could also use um, the regular um, globe.qc instead of the ID globe. Like I said, this is really the ID globe, not really the regular globe. Um, though I'm not really sure. Um, looks like this is going to be a pain in the butt to put together. Like, yeah, it, it looks like... I, I'm assuming globe.qc... The bottom portion of it's basically what's supposed to be there. I don't really have any idea whatsoever at this point, people. So, I'm just basically guessing. So, yeah. Okay, we look at this. We see weapons.qc. And we... No, no, no. Um, We need progs.src. I think that's what it is. I think I need progs.src. And I'm accidentally pressing um, Windbar stuff. What an amazing thing. Um, Let's see here. Here we are. And now if I go before weapons, I can add globe.qc. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be the most exciting flashlight of all time. So, okay. So, we need to add to depths.qc float.globe power to the player-only fields. Where in God's name is player-only fields? Player-only fields. Okay. So, that was simple enough to find. I'll just add this line. For float gold power, that, that should hopefully work. Watch as this gives me a bunch of errors. It doesn't work at all. Um, here we are. We get the ability to pre-cache the sound that doesn't work at all because it doesn't exist. You know, um, buttons dot switch to one. I have no idea what that's about, but that's aside the point. Um, but yeah, I think the pre-cache is near the top. So I can just add this. Okay, so I added that line. How many more lines do I have to add to this freaking thing? Um, yeah, there's the impulse commands that I need to add. Se self impulse 13, because I need the ability to define it as the impulse. So let's see here. Self impulse is near the bottom, if I'm correct. Yep. No, no, that's. Where's self impulse? Impulse. Impulse. This is a very. Trying to find this stupid thing is so annoying. Okay, I think. This is a void impulse commands. It's got to be here. So I'm going to do is say if impulse is 13, which means if I just tr cram it right in here, it should work perfectly fine. Also know they have a lot of random stuff for V-hold and stuff like that in here. So um, 
Yeah, I'm getting two mods for one, apparently, in this combination mess up of stuff. Yeah, I don't really, I'm too lazy to just go from the vanilla, so I'm using whatever I used last time, which was Behold something or another. Um, yeah, and that's just binding, so I don't care about that. Okay, let's actually compile this thing and get to running it, because I want the ability to have a light source in front of my face. That, that's really the highlight of this whole situation. I don't know why. I don't know how. And I don't know why they weren't combined together. If this was, like, going to be um, a products.dat file, you would think they would have just combined it because they're not even the same impulse key. You have an impulse 15 and an impulse 13, so why didn't we have both of them? <laughs> you would think that would make sense. But no, give me one of them and then make me have to manually do the other one. So that way I'm fighting with it mid thing because you know I want to show off one and then have to switch to the other one I tell you it's over complicated and everything so let's see here let's, let's actually see if I can get this freaking light to show and um, if there was a real point to it okay it doesn't like that switch to one as said I don't know what that's about I don't know if it was supposed to include a sound file let me check one more time in the directory make sure there's no like custom sound files I missed no, it's pretty straightforward. There's a globe QC, an ID globe QC, a config file that I don't care about, and a product.dat file. Needless to say, nothing that is an audio file. So, I have no idea about that. I don't know if there is a way to get it. Let's see here. Now I want to bind H to impulse 13. That Just because we want to be able to stare up into the void of nothingness. And look at that. There's my light. I think we've seen lights before. So this one has a really tacky globe on it, in case you wanted that for some reason. I'm not really sure why you'd want a random globe. This guy really likes his globes for some reason. Plus, it also can make you alert enemies like this. So that way, if you want to walk around with a flashlight and have everyone murder you, you possibly can. Though, as usual, um, the whole light source, um, flashlights, whatever you may call them, I'm not a big fan of them for multiplayer games or actually single player games in general because I like the idea of it basically being able to light an area that you're not supposed to light up. Say like you're in a darkened area, it feels like the map was designed to have that darkness in mind. For you to perhaps sacrifice some of your ammo to see in the darkness. So having a free light source that you're able just to run around just doesn't feel the same. It feels kind of cheaty in a way. So I'm not a big fan of that one. And as for the Impulse 15 identifier thing, yeah, that one's just rather annoying because half the time it doesn't even work right. And when it does work right, it's kind of interesting, even if it doesn't really support custom content easily. Um, it's a little interesting thing, I guess you could say. Though it's not really something you'd ever need. Uh, you know, I, I can't really imagine a time I want to say, ooh, I want to see what that thing is. I couldn't just tell from like getting killed by it and that's a lot clearer and more consistent than um, these identifiers seem to be anyway there's really not much more to really ramp up out here it's a rather simple modification if you will um, even if they made it rather difficult to install it all anyway with that in mind that in mind thank you all for watching I'm not really sure what I'm doing in my life I'm not really sure what exactly to even consider this. Is this ID globe or is this globe? I guess it's two mods for one. Hooray, a two for one pack. So, with that in mind, that in mind, thank you all for watching. It's been an adventure, and I shall see you all next time.